Hello, guys. Welcome, everybody, to Purple A's podcast. I am your host who bleeds purple and gold, Isaac. So I was going to go over, like, um, what free agents the Vikings are going after, but I really just don't really have, like, enough. There's not really enough, like, list of free agents. I don't know the full list, but we'll soon... We'll soon maybe go over that and then see who could be the best for the the Vikings. But mainly, I would want defensive players. Mainly. I mean, if they wanted to go offense, okay, I'm fine with that. No sweat off my back. But I kind of want to talk about something else. Is that that's been really going on is that Brian Flores has not been... He has not had a coaching interview this season, so I'm pretty sure he. Cause listen, there's been a there's been a huge coaching carousel that's been going on with the Titans firing Mike Vrabel, the Patriots firing Bill Belichick, which they already hired, the Falcons firing, um, the Falcons firing Arthur Smith, and the Panthers firing Frank Reich. So there's, and the Seahawks with Pete Carroll, there's been a lot that's been going on really as far as like, um, the coaching carousel goes, but some, some of them are pretty surprising, but we'll see how it goes with Brian Flores. But so far, Brian Flores has been quiet with the interviews. I haven't heard anything from any of the other teams that they are most likely interested in who are mostly interested in him really as far as I'm concerned so I mean and I wouldn't I mean I'm actually kind of shocked that he got to stay on it and I was saying please stay because he absolutely transformed this defense where where he where he where he did a complete 180 with the defense in 22 and the 23 season, where Ed Donatel was like bottom five in the worst, in the top five in the worst defense. And, and Brian Flores has at least gotten the top half of the best defense with, with lesser weapons than what Ed Donatel has. Incredible. That I think that's pretty, a, a pretty good achievement really. And so for me, I think this is a good thing. I mean, maybe not a good thing for Brian Flores as a human being. I kind of feel bad for him because he probably won a coaching interview. I mean, I would like to go up that level. If I was Brian Flores, I would love to. But as a fan base who's cheering for their team's best outcomes, I think this is basically it, man. I think this is definitely something that you can definitely have. For a while, but you really need to revamp this defense, basically, and just not like, not with like lesser weapons, you know, all the players that I said that you can cut or keep, I mean, maybe Daniel Hunter, DJ Wanham, Patrick Jones, every, basically, mostly a lot of the defensive players, but maybe not the defensive tackles, maybe that's not it, really. With like Harrison Phillips, which he can't play his nose tackle, and Dean Lowry is awful. He just there's he's non existent this season. So you're definitely gonna have to do I would say there are a few players that are sticking out to me, but that's for another topic, another day. But I mean the way Brian Flores turned around this defense, it's just crazy. And I'm actually surprised that he hasn't had a coaching interview. Cause, because my guess is of what the NFL and what other teams are thinking is, is what the Miami Dolphins for like 2018 and 2019, where he thought Tua Tagovailoa was not the quarterback or a franchise quarterback. And then he got absolutely bashed for it from what I heard. He got absolutely ripped apart by the media for and the Miami Dolphin fans for just doing that. So they had to fire him. I'm My guess is that. But overall, I think he's a really smart dude, though, for like... 
as far as like defense. I mean, he's doing a great job. Just just imagine what the revamp defense with with all the holes that we have. If if we fill those in and he revamps it like nobody else, man, this defense I would say at least be top 10. No questions asked, man. I think we might have a much better defense than what we did in 23 compared to 24. So basically, since he's had no coaching interviews, my guess is he's going to be a Minnesota Vikings defensive coordinator. You got it, bro. So I'm I'm fine with that. So because, I mean, if you want to win a championship, then I mean, by any means, go ahead and keep him if you want to. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Goal.